Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is Saturday, March 4th. Beautiful day right now. Temperatures are in, I think, the low 40s. Although we did get hit with about eight inches of wet, heavy snow overnight in the area that I live. Uh, fortunately, I was able to break out the snowblower and make quick work of it. Uh, this is the third video in a series of three on steps I took to upgrade my ground tackle system. In episode 34, I researched anchor chain, uh, decide on an anchor chain to buy, take a road trip out to Defender in Connecticut, pick up the chain, took a few moments, walked around the Defender store, which was big and really nice. I wish they had one close to me. And then made my way back home. In episode 36, I did a little research on anchors, looked at some of the different brands, price points, uh, ended up purchasing a Rocknut Vulcan anchor, 55 pounds. And um, in this episode, I'm going to do a little research on anchor swivels, uh, some of the different brands, price points, got to look at those, make a decision, purchase the anchor swivel, and do an unboxing. I do hope you find it informative. Please take a quick moment, go down, hit that subscribe button, like, comment. Uh, it all helps the channel grow, and I do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Thanks. Here's a little information I pulled off of Google on why it's a good idea to have an anchor swivel. This is a real nice snapshot from Yachting Monthly I found on Google showing how your anchor rod would start in your chain locker, connected then to a chain, which then connects to the anchor swivel, and the anchor swivel in turn connects to the anchor, usually via a shackle. So here I go to the Mantis website to take a look at their product list. And you can see our focus in a little bit more. We can see towards the bottom, Mantis anchor swivel. That will take me to a sizing chart, which will help me decide which Mantis Anchor Swivel to purchase depending upon which size chain that I have. And here we go is a picture of the Mantis S2 Anchor Swivel that I'm considering. Quick trip over to Amazon and I can see they are $127. Next I go over to the Rockna website. Once you're on the landing page, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this. Titan is the name of their Anchor Swivel that they sell. They also sell anchor chain and shackles under the Titan brand. If you tap on the word Titan, it'll take you to another page which has a full listing of the Titan products they carry. And here's a picture of what the Titan anchor swivel looks like. Next, I went over to this anchor sizing chart. If you go along the top over to 27 kilogram or 55 pounds, and you go all the way down to the last two rows in the bottom, you see they recommend a 716 shackle and a type 3 or 5 anchor swivel, which it looks like you would have to buy these items separately. At this point, I played with the website for a while trying to figure out how to add an anchor swivel and shackle to the cart to see what the cost would be, but I had no luck. So then I went to trusty old Google and did a search, and it looks like a type 5 Titan anchor swivel cost about $500 with free shipping. Next, I go to the Ultramarine website to take a look at one of their anchor swivels. I went to their sizing chart, was able to add a model UFS 1035 to the cart, but it was priced out in euros. Here's a picture of the anchor swivel. Then I go to Amazon to see what they charge. It looks like $698.53, including tax and shipping. And of course, now it's decision time. So to give a quick recap, first we have the Titan anchor swivel, which is a Rockna product at just under $500, free shipping. I'm gonna figure with 6% sales tax because I live in Michigan, that'll take it to $530. Next, we have the Mantis S2 Anchor Swivel, which I was able to find on Amazon at just under $150, including shipping and sales tax. And last but not least, we have the Ultramarine Anchor Swivel, which I was able to find on Amazon at just shy of $700, including shipping and sales tax. The Mantis Anchor Swivel. I've heard so many great things about it in all the videos and at the $148.72 price point, which included the shackle, it couldn't be beat. 
It looks like my Mantis S2 anchor swivel has arrived. I'm excited. Let's open this thing up and do an unboxing. Strongest link in your chain. And I have the S2. Okay. All right. Well, looks like we have some instructions. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Okay, so here is the cotter pin. They don't show the tape, but in the in other videos that I've watched, I've seen that they do include, include a roll up. It looks to be like Teflon tape. Seizing wire, shackle, looks like a nice size shackle. And then we have the anchor swivel itself. And a little thank you. Thank you for purchasing this man's product. Please register. I will do that. Starting to take this thing apart and make sure everything's there. It looks like we have all the pieces. Let's see, this looks pretty solid, sturdy. All right, I'm glad I made the purchase. And now all I need to do is see about getting a windlass. And I'm was really thinking about getting just a manual windlass. That way I don't have to worry about a battery setup, any switches. Uh, I know it'll be tedious, but um, it's going to be less expensive, less to worry about. So um, let's go to the Mantis site and get this registered.